Welcome back, everyone. Uh, we're continuing with our next segment of how to use the Mantalink app uh, to control your Manta Multiprobe. Today, we're going to talk about the settings portion of the Mantalink app. So let's jump in. So now we're going to jump over to our settings uh, portion of the Mantalink app by tapping settings in the bottom right hand corner. This is going to bring up parameter settings. Parameter settings are what you see on the home screen. This is able to be modified by uh, tapping the edit button here. And for example, any of these available parameters can become active parameters by tapping the green plus sign. So if I wanted to add depth meters, I could hit the little plus sign there and you see it appear at the end of your active parameter list. If you wanted the depth parameter to be your second parameter, you can grab it right here and slide it all the way up to be your second parameter right under temperature. So you can see how that's modified. And to finalize that, you just tap on done to see that on your home screen, depth is now our second parameter. We're gonna go back to settings and click on our display portion. We can change the way that the home screen looks uh, in terms of its display settings by tapping ver vertical first in the block layout. And we are showing 15 parameters per screen. This is easily modified if you had less or more parameters. You can also tap list to show it in a different orientation like that. Go back to settings. I can show you what the scroll layout looks like. You can go back and forth there and see all of your various parameters. Change it back to block, 15 parameters. Uh, the horizontal layout would be if you turned your screen horizontally and it's the same variation there. So you can do block, list, or scrolling, and you can see the uh, parameters in view are able to be modified as well. And then finally, our display update interval. We typically keep this at one second. As you see, the parameters are updating once a second. If we wanted to change that to say one minute or 30 seconds or something like that, we could do that. Um, the benefit there is if you are using the auto snapshot function. On the home screen, you'll remember from an earlier video when we turn on auto snapshot to take a reading, it's going to follow whatever interval uh, you have set for the, for the update. So um, if we wanted to do auto snapshot on a five second interval, we would just simply change this to five seconds go back to our home screen, you'll see it update every five seconds. If I tap on auto snapshot, it'll take a reading every five seconds. That completes the display portion. Uh, now we're going to jump over to other settings. Okay, so in settings under other, we have a variety of settings that we can modify here. First is Manta time. We can sync to the time of the display. Uh, it's internal, so that would be this iPad, or we can set the time manually. Next option here is to show hidden sensors. I recommend leaving that on. If you have a sensor that doesn't have a serial number associated with it, uh, you'll still see that in your calibration selection. Uh, so we leave that on. All right, now in the location portion of other settings, you can turn on track location. When you do that, it'll give you a message telling you what that setting does. We'll tap OK to accept it. Track location has to be on in order to use geofencing. So to use the geofence snapshot files function, you would turn both of those on. Again, you get a display message letting you know what geofencing turning that on means. Tap OK to accept that. 
We will cover geofencing snapshot files in a later video. Show Manta simulators just allows you to see the simulators on the connect screen. So you see simulator one and simulator two as options for devices to connect to. That's all that setting is referenced to. Keep connection screen open allows you to make sure that your screen doesn't turn off during inactivity while using the app. So that's a good one to turn on as well. We have settings for calibration diagnostics and calibration learning. So those can be turned on or off. And then finally, you have your Mantalink software version, which you may have to reference at some point. So that completes the video on using the settings in the Mantalink app. Uh, thank you very much for watching the video. Hope this helps. Don't forget to subscribe.